Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll take a look how to use use state hook. Use state hook is a function, and it returns two objects. It returns an array of objects. So this is an array. That's what it returns. And the first object holds the value. In our case, this would be zero. And the second object is a function. And using this function, we can change the value of the first object. And you also need to remember that we use this use state hook in function component. Function component has the keyword function, not a class component. So let's see how to go ahead and use it. We'll use we'll we'll have an counter example, set counter example to see how it works. So I already have the basic template. Let's go ahead and create a button. and we'll call a method for our on press prop we'll call it handle press and we'll also name it give it a name title say press now let's go ahead and create this function so handle press I think I'm missing e all right okay handle press I won't take any variable it's an arrow function and all we need to do call this one over here to see it how to see how it works on our button press so set count now we can do something with this we want to increase the value of this count variable or object so initial value is zero because that's what it has been assigned when you declared now we can increase the value to do that we need to say count plus one all right Okay, so and that's it. Now we want to be able to view the view, uh, view the value, current value on our screen. To do that, we'll wrap this value using a text component. All right, okay, and let's render the value over here, count. Okay, now we'll go ahead and save it. All right, okay, now as you see, the initial value is zero. Of course, we can set it to two. We'll see initial value is a two. Now let's set it back to zero, okay? All right, now as we'll press on this button, the value would increase, so which means the state variable, the state has been changed. So let's go ahead and see, now it's one. So we use use state to create states in our function component and the state could be changed. So you can understand as we click on the button, the state changes and it creates a render of the function component. It happens, actually it creates a re-render and that's why we can see the updated value. So a few things we learned about use state hook that number one, it's a hook. Second, it returns an array of objects. The first one holds the initial value and second one is a function that we use to change the value of the first object okay and a third we use use state to play with value variables like js primitives like boolean like true false or integers like this and we also use use state in a function component so if you have more questions you can leave a comment below in the com video and don't forget to give a like for this video. Thank you so much.